Who should drive your car, you or a robot? How about both? Now, a lot of us love the idea of jumping into a car with a robo-chauffeur. We don't touch the controls, it just takes us to where we want to go. But many more of us also really enjoy the experience of driving, and not just enjoy it. I mean, it has a deep psychological hold on us. We identify independence and freedom with driving a car. We shape our destinies by driving a car. People name their cars. The car is an extension of yourself in many cases, and a lot of people aren't ready to give that up just yet. If you follow AI in the automotive industry, you probably have heard that Toyota has struck up partnerships with MIT and Stanford to build a pair of research centers dedicated to making AI for cars. And this isn't to make autonomous vehicles, but it's not to make purely manually driven vehicles either. You could say it's in the middle of the road. It's about robotic assist vehicles, cars that can come into play and take over in case we need them to. Now, full disclosure, Toyota does sponsor this show, but this episode was my idea because I really wanted to compare and contrast autonomous cars with robotic assist cars. In this case, MIT will be developing AI that will help in decision-making processes. That's when you are in control of the car. Sometimes it's going to take your input into account. Sometimes it's going to take over entirely in cases of emergency. Meanwhile, Stanford will be working on AI that covers everything from speech recognition to object recognition, so that if something comes within the perimeter of your car, the car recognizes what it is. But the important thing to remember is that you would still be in control. Your hands would still be at two and 10, and your foot would either be on the accelerator or the brake. It's just that these systems could come into play to help you make decisions or to take over in case something unexpected happens. So let me give you an example. You're driving through the mountains and you're following a winding path and you can feel the car respond to you. It's handling well, everything's going great. It's exhilarating. But then a deer dashes into the street. Well, immediately in one of these AI cars, the vehicle could take over for you, applying the brakes safely and swerving out of the way so that everyone, you, your car, and Bambi come out safe and sound. Also, we have to keep in mind that technology is starting to outpace the legal system. In other words, here in the US, some states embrace autonomous technology. They want the cars to be tested on their streets. Other states are a little more reluctant and some are outright resisting it. So it might be many years years down the road before most places accept autonomous cars on their streets. But a robot assist vehicle doesn't have those same problems. Also, it could help us extend our independence further into our lives. As we age, our abilities begin to decline. But a robot assist vehicle might allow senior citizens to be more independent longer, which has an incredibly positive impact on your quality of life. So I have a question for you guys. Which do you prefer? Do you like the idea of a robo-chauffeur taking you wherever you want to go with no problems? Or do you like the idea of being in control of your car and a robot occasionally assisting you when you need it? What's your take? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I want to thank Toyota for sponsoring this show, and if you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button, and then subscribe to the channel to join the Forward Thinking Think Tank. And after all of that, why not motor on over here for some more videos? 